Time now for At the Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At the Market is brought to you by CTV Community Television for Marine City in St. Clair, St. John Providence Hospital, and Bill McDonald Ford. Now let's join our host for this week's At the Market. Hello and welcome to another edition of At The Market. I'm Kristen Bain, I'm the owner of the Schoolhouse Grill on Harsons Island. Today we're gonna to turn the oven off, thank God, on this hot summer day. And we're gonna show you some desserts uh, ideas that we can do uh, without heating up the kitchen. Also, Paul will come back later to tell you um, about the blood drive in Marine City and meet with the police chief of Marine City and the fire chief of Marine City. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a great show. Look, Max, Henry Ford Hospital. It was established in 1915 with six hospital locations, 31 medical centers, and employing over 23,000 people. Wow, Max, there's the Henry Ford, educating old and young alike about the past and the future. Aren't you proud to be a Ford dealer, Max? AZ Plan customers, lease a 2017 Ford F-150 Super Crew 4x4, only $219 per month with $25.89 cash due at signing. Hello and welcome back to At The Market. Again, I'm Kristen and I'm going to show you how to make some wonderful desserts uh, with no heating up the kitchen at all, which is great for summertime. Although it makes a great dessert in the wintertime as well. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is make a real traditional cannoli cream. We're gonna start with some uh, very nice ricotta cheese, and ricotta cheese is a lot like a very fine cottage cheese. And the flavor profile is such that you can change it to taste savory or sweet. Today we're going to the sweet side. I have two cups of the um, ricotta cheese in the bowl. And to that, I'm gonna add an eight ounce package of mascarpone cheese which is like an Italian cream cheese, super rich. But again, you can change that profile of flavor from savory to sweet. It just depends on the ingredients that you're adding. Today, we're going to the sweet side of things, which I don't think anybody seems to mind. This makes for a great dessert in the summertime because you're not turning the oven on. There's no baking here for pies or cakes. It's very... Uh, uh, a crowd pleaser, and uh, you get a lot of wow factor for not a whole lot of work, which is always a really good thing. So to this, we wanna sweeten it up, so we're gonna add some confectioner's sugar. We're gonna go in with two cups. You can use a little more if you like it sweeter, you can use a little less if you don't. All depends on your tastes. And once we get that incorporated, we're going to add a little bit of vanilla. You can use a extract, vanilla extract or um, imitation or pure, either way. And we're going to do about a teaspoon. I leave a lot of the baking at the restaurant to my mother because she is... Um, she measures and I don't. <laughs> and in baking, you really have to measure. It's more of a science. I like to throw things together and see what comes out. But this is fun because you can, like I say, just keep tasting. If you want it a little sweeter, a little more vanilla, you can start with the basics, but always add or cut back from there. And then also to this, just about a half a teaspoon or so of cinnamon. You could add a little uh, orange zest to really brighten it up. You could add a little lemon zest. And those are all really nice ideas for uh, winter time too, if you're doing this in the winter time, because that adds a little more dimension to it. So this is like a basic cannoli cream. You would put this into a refrigerator and get that, it um, will get a little uh, more uh, stiff and dense. I'm gonna add chocolate chips. And we'll give that a little stir. You can use mini chocolate chips. Again, any other flavor that you would like. A 
Okay, so some of you at home might have a pastry bag, which is perfect to use for this. But if you do not, you can just use a regular Ziploc bag. And what I did was I cut and snipped the little uh, corner off on the end. And that makes it so that you can squeeze it through there into a tart shell or into a cannoli shell much easier than spooning it in. And this is a good thing to do and you don't have to buy a pastry bag if you don't have to. I'm gonna be making quite a mess over here. So for the tart application, what we'll do, as I get rid of some of my dirty dishes here. So for the tart application, you would just squeeze the cannoli cream right into the tartlet shells, just like so. And when you refrigerate this, it will get a little stiffer, a little denser, a little easier to work with. But you'll just fill those like that. And what's nice about that is from here, you can just top it with a little berry, a couple of blueberries, a little pistachio. And these are great little pick up and eat desserts. Another great thing you could do with this, for example, is make like a little trifle jar in a little mason jar like so. Great way to use up some of your mason jars. So do a little level of the cream. Some berries on top of that. A Little bit of pistachio. A Little more of the good stuff in there. These are good for um, all kinds, you know, and this is a great dessert that your guests could pick up and walk around with too. The little dessert spoon clean up your mess. You could probably use the little pastry bag for these as well. Put a fun tall spoon in it and you've got yourself a really nice rich dessert, easy to make, no fuss, no bake, no heat. So I think everybody will enjoy that very much. So listen, I want to take a little time to tell you about our eighth annual Roots Music Festival at the Schoolhouse Girl on Harsons Island. It's July 29th. We uh, open the gates at 2 p.m. It's $10 at the door. And this is something very near and dear to my heart. Uh, this is great music from all over the state of Michigan. We have some wonderful bands that are coming this year. Uh, we have everything from folk, country, rock and roll to reggae. It's whatever your roots in music are, and that's the, the uh, premise behind the name, uh, Roots Music Festival. There is uh, a fish fry, a barbecue, beer tent, local vendors. It makes for a beautiful day. Uh, five acres of beautiful island property. And we want you to come and join us July 29th at 2 p.m. Bring a lawn chair, enjoy the day with us. Uh, we'll be right back after this with Paul to talk to our Marine City Fire Chief and Police Chief. Thank you for joining me and have a great day. To get great care for your everyday life, you need more than an everyday doctor. You need one that listens. And that's just what Ascension Doctors at St. John Providence and Crittenden do. Listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find a doctor who is right for you at stjohnprovidence.org slash doctor or crittenden.com. Well, welcome back to At The Market. Uh, Kristen uh, Bain did a great job there with a wonderful dessert uh, for the summer. And uh, you uh, make sure you get down to the Schoolhouse Grill on Harsons Island, great place. And uh, coming up next week, in fact, while we're talking about food, uh, Mark uh, Miller from uh, Little Camille's By the Bay in New Baltimore, he'll be along and he'll be uh, giving us a special treat here at, at the market. But right now, Chris Finsterwall. Welcome to back to the At The Market and CTV Channel 6 set. You've been on with me Thank before. You. But here you're today to talk about a wonderful project that's got a little bit of competition between the uh, Marine City Fire Department and the Marine City area, uh, or the Marine City 
Police Department That's and the Marine right. City Area That's Fire right. Department. What's going on? Well, the, this is a normal blood drive with the exception that you can um, give blood in honor of our everyday heroes. Oh, that's a great idea. When you give your blood, there is going to be this paper that will tell you that you are honoring for you. either the police department or the fire department. It's a little bit of so a little competition. competition, that's right. And when is it? That is Monday the 24th and at 12.45 until 6.45. There is an acute shortage at this time because the blood is, there's more blood going to hospitals than is coming in through the donation process. So we're really wanting everybody to come out that can. Um, and it's going to be held where? At the Marine City Fire Marine Hall. Marine City Fire Hall. Yes. So it's a great location. Right. And obviously there's no charge to it. Nope. You want to, we want to, do you have to? be a certain age or any requirements? There is no age limit at the top. Okay. As long as you're in good health and uh, not taking certain medications, mm -hmm. but that's all gone through before you get that far. Okay. Well, it's nice of you to volunteer for this. You're uh, sort of the coordinator of it. We tried to get the uh, police chief and the uh, fire, fire chief, chief here, but yeah. they were both uh, sort of busy, so uh, We'll, we'll forgive them this time. Well, I don't, or worked in the donation centers for about 10 or 12 years Have now. Have you really? But I'm on the other side of it now because my husband has leukemia. Yeah. So I know firsthand how, how important, important it, is. it is. Yes. Uh, it's this uh, uh, Monday, the 24th, coming 24th. up. 1245 till 645 yes. at the uh, Marine City Fire Hall. And it's sort of a cute idea that you can give, donate to, 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 to the honor. police department, to honor, honor the police department the police or the department. fire department. Yeah. See who gets the highest number. That's right. Okay. Chris, anything else? No, I think okay. I've covered the bases. Okay. That's, uh, that's about it for this edition of the uh, At the Market Show. Thanks to uh, Chris Finsterwald and uh, Kristen Bain for coming along. Till next week, I'm Paul Damon. Thanks for watching. You've been watching At The Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At The Market is brought to you by St. John Providence Hospital, Bill McDonald Ford, and CTV Community Television for Marine City and St. Clair. Join us again soon for another At The Market.